Okay, so if you, whatever. So after I filmed the Raising Canes one, I was like, what the heck, I'm already out, so I might as well go. So I ended up getting some, what the heck, Starbucks. I was gonna get four, but then the guy, like I just kept saying one after the other, and like, like the line was going really fast. So basically everybody in line got one drink for themselves. I'm pretty sure I held up the line by a lot. And I was ordering one and then I ordered the second one. And then after the third one, he was like, um, was, is there anything else you would like? And I was like, um, I think, I think, that, I think that's okay. And he's like, okay, well, your total's going to be available at the window. And I wanted to get a fourth drink, but I felt a little like, you know, he was like rushing me. Like, geez. What if I was getting it for my family, you know? And it, wow. Oh, it's like, okay. Um, so basically, I got a few of the drinks that I usually used to get. I mean, I don't really drink a lot of Starbucks nowadays. I'm trying to save money and I realize I can make like half of these at home. But I got an iced matcha green tea. Wow, I wish I got this with soy milk. I'm supposed to lay off on the milk. Wow, all of these have a lot of milk in it. Okay. I mean, the green tea one is not too bad. They got an iced caramel macchiato. Um, I usually don't like mix anything out, but I recently, recently as in like four months before this pandemic, this thing started. I found out what blonde espresso was and I never knew that was a thing and then I finally got it. Life changer. Oh, this pretty little thing. Ice caramel macchiato. I think this was my very first cup of coffee at Starbucks back then. Blonde espresso. It's just creamier. It's nice. I used to always get the ice cream macchiato. Primarily, is that the right word? Mainly because of the obnoxious amount of caramel that they put at the bottom. Like, do you see that caramel? They usually put a lot more. Back when I, whatever, good. That's a good cup of coffee. Mmm, I like coffee. Do I like it better than tea? I don't know, but you know what? I like people drink coffee and tea for like the caffeine to like help them stay awake. Caffeine don't help me. Okay, the next thing I got, which I rarely ever get frappuccinos nowadays. It's just not a thing. Like it's too sweet for me. It's not a fan. So I got a, what is it, a caramel frappuccino, this sugary little thing, it's full of sugar. Mm. Sugar. I love me some sugar. Mm. A caramel frap just brings me back to my younger days. Mm. Oh my god, let me tell you a story. So my mom is very, like, we're a very Buddhist family. So back then, well nowadays too, but back then we were driving around this monk that, to a temple or whatever, and he was in our car and we were driving back home and there was a Starbucks there and we all wanted a drink. So it was me, my sister, my brother, and the monk. So we all ordered our drinks. There was like five drinks. Was there five? Yeah, it was five drinks. And then we finished ordering and the guy was like, oh, it's cash only today. And my, and my mom only had $5, okay? Like $5 and whatever cents it was. She had like $6, $5, okay? 
And so we all look at each other like, what the heck? Like we can't get our Starbucks drink. And we were like craving it so bad. So obviously we all know that the monk has to get his drink. Oh, we're gonna give them like, we're, you know what I mean? It's not like we're gonna buy one drink and we all share. That doesn't work because the monk is right there. So, so we're like, okay. So we buy one grande caramel frappuccino and my siblings and I just stare at him drinking it. And so, you know, obviously he's gonna be like, are you guys sure? Like, you guys don't want any, like we can share like, and we're like, no, 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 like, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, it was a really, it was really funny. I told my sister the other day and I died laughing. Hmm. Anyways. Wow, what am I supposed to do with all this? This lacks um, some flavor or like sweetness. It can use a little more. Maybe they hated that I was holding up the line. They're like, screw it. We're not giving you the full amount of sugar it deserves. I don't understand. Let's see. I think that frap really made me full. I also can't come home with three Starbucks drinks or else my mom will literally call me crazy. She'd be like, what are you spending money for? I don't know, mother. I have nothing better to do. Matcha tea. You know what? Starbucks doesn't have the really good matcha tea anymore. I used to think it was really good. I'm not dishing on you, Starbucks. I'm just saying. <sighs> Let's see. What else? What if, What would have been my fourth drink? I really wanted just a plain tea, like a strawberry acai, but the guy was like, uh, do you want anything else? You've been ordering a lot lately. That's not how he sounded, but actually I can like totally save this for tomorrow because this is pretty rich. Which is really funny because for coffee, they like pour it to the maximum. And then for like anything else, it's like, you're skipping out on my drink. Like this matcha drink, I can finish it right now. Actually, I can't. I wish I got soy milk because Just because soy milk, I've been digging soy milk lately. And my acne's clearing up. Well, also because my period ended, so it has to clear up. Which really sucks because, wow, my makeup looks really good today. <laughs> which really sucks because, like, I struggle with the acne. It comes before I get my period. And then I struggle with, like, clearing it during my period so I basically get two weeks of like I would say like pretty good looking skin if I say so myself but I also struggle with it for two weeks and my hormonal acne is like incredibly bad I mean you guys saw it. I had like like three obnoxious like bumps right here and you know with like acne, I don't know why I'm talking about acne, but you know with acne where it's like, like if nothing, like, like I'll have little random ones pop up and those are like easy to like, just poof, you're gone. But when it's specifically hormonal acne, it like purposely tries to stay on my skin. Like, I don't know if anybody else has this problem. It could be just me, but like when it's hormonal acne, like no matter what I do or what, like no matter how much I wash my face or how much like soap I use or how much of my like curology I use, like it, it doesn't leave. It doesn't leave until my period's almost over, which I have a week before my period where it's like, oh, let me just pop on and say hi. 
and then like that week of my period so it doesn't leave for two weeks and the pimples that pop onto my face are like huge they're not like subtle they're like freaking mountains on my face okay and they don't disappear but then when it's like a normal pimple that's like mm, okay like pop like you know like you guys know what i mean like when it's oh acne makes me so mad anyways i gotta go i don't know what i'm gonna go i gotta maybe i'll go to target maybe i'll go to target and I can't give these drinks away to anybody because I drank it all already. No, it's spilling. Don't spill. Okay, I'm going to put this coffee right here. Place with my raising. Oh, wow. I just have quite the amount of drinks right now. I don't really mind for the sweet tea because that's whatever. But I'm pretty sure I'll finish the ice matcha before I go to Target. Wow, this was a fun conversation. <coughs> oh. Okay, wow. Okay, I remember my last video, I asked you guys to comment something and then nobody commented. Why you guys gotta play me like that? Mm. I'm almost done, see? There's just so much ice in this. Look at this. It's just half ice. It's like Starbucks, do you hate me that much? Like, don't I pay you like $4.50 for like a full cup? At least a full cup, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>